Hello. Okay. This is Sybil. You look horrible. And you're missing an arm. Go over there. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. I don't have anything on me. Really? You got all the way here without any weapons? Lost them. I don't believe you. Seriously, you don't believe me? Go ahead, search me. No, I'm not touching you. Just sit down. Do you know who I am? No, I don't know anything about you. You wouldn't. People like you don't. Now you're thinking, who would have it out for me, huh? A few weeks back, there might have been a station wagon in the forest, full of all sorts of food, water, things you need to survive. Yeah, I'm not some cannibal, Lee. Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. I coach Little League. Everything was just out there for the taking. We were starving. For Do the you... taking? Do you know what you took from me? Don't you start on who took what from who. I didn't take her from you. I rescued her from you. Don't you get that? Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Yes, of course. Who? My wife. Clementine said she wasn't with you. I hurt her a long time ago. How? It doesn't matter. If you say so. I hurt her so bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him, and the look on her face said, You are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. Then you took all of our things. You robbed us. I could have earned her trust back, Lee, but not after that. Fucked up. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them a day later in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? Yes. If you think that now, you just wait. I'm not like you. You killed a man with a pitchfork right in front of a little girl. I did what I had to. 
you lied to her about who you really are. You weren't there. The sweatshirt she's wearing was my boy's. You stole that from us. We were starving. It was cold. So my family starved in the cold! How could you know all this? <laughs> You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm gonna hurt you so bad. Take him out. Just give me Clementine back. I'd rather kill her myself. Because that's what will happen if she goes with you. After I heard Clementine on the radio and realized who you folks were, I came after you purely for revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did, and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Lee, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. No, shut up. It makes sense. It's not happening. You'll have to kill me. Yeah, I know. Hey, honey, I think this is all gonna work out. What are you? I'm glad too. I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but it's all over, hon, isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> Dang, I died. <laughs> no, no, nothing. I just like... <laughs> You know how you're like hey, supposed honey, to grab shit? I think this is all gonna work. <laughs> hey, you figure. <laughs> yeah, you just don't do it fast enough. <laughs> Yo. I wish you Yo, fucking I I love when um It's all over, hon. Isn't it? When uh just people just I like, like I was watching this one stream. This guy was like, "Yo, I wonder what would happen if I don't save Clementine." <laughs> You're gonna make yeah. a lot and they just let her get you in. Lizzie, I'm like, yo, sweet. this must up. She wouldn't hurt a fly.
would have come back. That's right, sweet pea. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. Your arm's gone. Why? That's so scary. I had an accident. We'll talk about it somewhere safe. You don't smell good. Yeah, I know. Did he hurt you? No. Not really. I'm sorry, Lee. Clea, it's okay. We need to get you somewhere safe. And then we have to talk, okay? Yeah. Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. Hey. I want to get this. Uh, what's up, Rob? I'm sorry you had to see that. He was going to kill you. And take you. Yeah. Which way out? Through there. Ooh. Don't look in there. No, I know. No, what the? Which way out? Through there. Savannah. Oh, he's smart. Put the hoodie up. Mm-hmm. I'll keep you safe. 